Lenovo ThinkBook memory upgrade and uh, HDD upgrade now so this model comes with a 256GB SSD and 4GB RAM and DOS machine and then we are going to install the Windows 10 Home Edition 64-bit so just follow the video I'm going to open all the screws one by one and then I will upgrade I will show you all the process how we are doing I'm going to open all the screws one by one ThinkBook E15 internal parts 11th generation model battery SSD memory slot fan HDD so this model comes with a built-in memory and 256 GB SSD and there is extra space for the HDDs so this is dummy we are going to upgrade the hard disk now open this memory uh, slot upgrade the RAM three two zero zero speed and upgrade the HDD uh, one TB HDD upgrading so we have already upgraded the RAM and then upgrading to the HDD so it has already SSD is inside 256 GB SSD Final? Yeah. Done? Done. Cover me. I file eleven generation mode. Power button. So this is the DOS machine, we are going to install the windows now. We are going to install the windows 10 home edition 64 bit. So the media we are installing with the bootable drive. Uh, press alt control delete. This 11th generation model before booting we need to go to system information and then system configuration we need to change to some setting here we need to change the Intel VMD control it should be disabled So after that, the Windows bootable option will work. 
save F12 for save. Check line 3. Okay. And then boot F12. So, this is the flash. I need to select the flash drive. 64 bit when installing. We need to do next. Install. So we'll give the key up to some time because we are already having a key. Select the media windows 10 home. Accept. Installation mode. And there are SSD inside, so we are choosing the SSD. So it will take some time. We need to wait till end. Ninety eight hundred <coughs> installing updates. And the last one finishing up finish. Yeah, it's done. The media is installed. So I'm going to remove the flash. So we need to set up. Any country you can use. Use international standard. You can choose another language if you need. And then skip now. So now we are connecting any internet. Give the username again, just giving the user only. Because the mouse pad doesn't work now, I am just using my external mouse. After installing the drivers only, the mouse pad will work. No need password now. No, no need. Accept. So it's take another five ten minutes to getting ready everything. Do not turn off your PC. Well, doing time. 
can see the keyboard very closely it's a nice keyboard the number pad and then power button having a biometric also you can use your finger as a password and big mouse pad almost there yeah it's done and then the main part we need to download the drivers you can see the now system specification 8 GB what we upgraded built in 4 GB and then we upgrade on the RAM 4 GB RAM so total 8 GB you can see the i5 11 generation processor and then uh, there are some drivers is pending so we need to connect the internet and download and before that there is uh, one more we upgrade the HDD we need to allocate just go to my PC right click Oops. right click and then go to manage to so you can make the partition also through this go to disk management see the hard drive is not allocated here so this is unallocated so we need to allocate right click new sync volume next next it's d automatically next next finish So it's become D. So now we can see here two hard disk. Yeah, now I'm going to connect the internet through the LAN. So we can finish the work fast. Internet is going to connect now. It's connected. I to seven way, not my desktop. So now internet is connected. So now we need to do drivers update. Go to device manage, right click. So you can click here and here right click and then update the drivers. Search automatically for updates. Some drivers it will come automatically from the internet. If it is not comes, we need to go to updates and then update the drivers. So this one is downloaded successfully. So these are the drivers is not downloading properly. So we will try again. So unable to install the PC, so we need to click here, go to Windows Update and then check for updates. So all the drivers will come automatic. So we need to wait for some time. So you can see here all the you know drivers related drivers is downloading. So in the meantime we will upgrade, we will uh, activate the key, product key to my computer properties and then activate windows you can see here change product key so we have already having a key here so I'm going to enter so after entering the product key I'm just clicking activate
Yeah, Windows is activated. Now you can see Windows is activated here. So, so we'll check what is uh, updates going on here. So, still so, it's going on.